and don't ask me why i stalk a 15 year old instagram that is my business and my business alone because like we've <laughs> we've got more important things to worry about let's be honest like maybe i'm a future it girl who knows like oh hello and welcome back to my channel um before we start don't mind this i told you guys it's a rush i know it's not hot girl behavior but we do what we have to do anyway so like i said in the last video this channel is becoming a pop culture channel so just get used to me making videos like this discussing topics concerning pop culture okay so recently i went down a rabbit hole i watched this video by modern girls you should go check it out it's got much more information than what i'm going to provide here but i watched that video and went down this rabbit hole of like learning about it girls and what it takes to be an it girl you know like i'm sure you've seen that trend of like oh how to become that girl how to dress like that girl how to act like that girl so i was like okay and i thought we can take that same concept and apply it to you know around here and i'm thinking about me i'm very observant you know i like i like to look at things to investigate other people's lives so i started looking at other people and i'm like who has the potential to like break out to become that like mainstream it girl like you know everybody knows how everybody oh everybody who's interested and who lives chronically online like me and i came up with some names which we'll discuss at the end of the video but right now first we're going to discuss like the whole concept of being an it girl what it takes to be an it girl you know things like that so that you can get more accustomed and so my decision at the end of the video can make more sense i don't know if that makes sense but anyway yes let's discuss so from the modern girls video they defined it as a quality possessed by some which draws all others in by some magnetic force with it you win all men if you are a woman and all women if you are a man so I can already tell from this quote it implies that to be the it girl you have to have some sort of physical attraction but everybody is pretty so obviously there's some sort of there has to be something extra to you i bet you've seen that quote oh be a pretty girl with a pretty heart and a pretty vibe something like that that also ties back into being an it girl you can't just be pretty and be like <laughs> The code further goes on to say it can be a quality of the mind as well as physical attraction so you have to pair that you know you have to pair that physical attraction with mental attraction also you're not going to stand out if you're just pretty like i said everyone is pretty so to be the it girl you know it takes a lot there's a second quote that i got from the modern girls video that says that's the secret it isn't beauty so to speak nor necessarily good talk it's just it again someone with it doesn't have to be like extremely beautiful like fit all the beauty standards and that we, we can only say they have it if they know how to carry that beauty in a certain way you know i'm sure you've seen those people who like walk by the street and you just feel like immediately like drawn to them like oh my goodness or even that's what when you're like scrolling through instagram or tiktok or whatever and you just stop because you just see this person in there like like you can't really tell why exactly you're drawn to this person why you find this person attractive but you know it's just it and i know i said in this video be focusing on like celebrities and stuff like that but anybody can have it like even the anti sales tomato by the corner can have it like it's not like just secluded to a particular group of people or a particular type of person anybody can have it Now that we've gotten the definitions out of the way, we can talk about the qualities that I personally think you need to have to be an it girl. Confidence. You definitely need to be confident, especially because most of these it girls are like public figures, social media influencers, celebrities, blah blah blah. blah. They definitely need to have that confidence to be like going on red carpets or even just putting your face in front of a screen needs a certain level of confidence charisma obviously like 
like I said, these, if these people are public figures, they're going to need that sort of push to be like, why should people like this person? Why should people follow the trends that this person sets? Because they're charismatic. Because when you look at them, you're like, oh my goodness, this, I want to be this person's friend. That is an it girl right there. And of course, they have to have something that sets them apart from everybody else. Like, is this person an it girl because they are funny? Is this person an it girl because they are chilled? Because they are stylish? Because they are this, they are that, they are that. They have to have one of these things or all of them. Even better if they have all of them. Now, one thing I've noticed in Zambia is we don't really have, like, celebrities. Like, for example, like, American it girls. Like, going off of the Modern Girls video. I would say I like Zendaya, Bella Hadid. You know, these people who you can tell just by looking at them like, oh, she, she has it. She has it. But then it's very different in Zambia because obviously we do have models and we do have actresses. Or that's not as invested in their lives because like we've, <laughs> we've got more important things to worry about. Let's be honest. This is why it's so easy for some people to like have their claim to fame be like oh like she got famous from instagram or she got famous from facebook or she got famous from tiktok like basically influencers are somehow seen at the same level as like actual celebrities like singers actresses and stuff like that in zambia and we'll talk about this when we start talking about like who i think are the current it girls and possible future it girls so because of that it, it's very hard to identify like celebrity it girls without like stalking their social media because you don't have like you don't see their day-to-day -day lives like you just see the pictures that they hand pick to show the world like okay today i wore a cute outfit and i'm going to post it like you don't see what they're wearing on a day-to-day -day basis whether they act like that all the time or dress like that all the time we just don't see that it's also very hard to identify like past it girls because like social media was even more rare in the past and certain trends we just copied from elsewhere so you can't really say that oh this singer or this model or this actress started this trend but if we are going to talk about like it girls from the near past when social media was like a huge huge thing already i would say a very good example is valerie and not to be rude or anything but she's not really that relevant anymore again not to be rude it's just that when she was there she was there like i said anybody who was chronically online at the time of her peak knew who she was like yes started out because of a meme and because of a boyfriend but she was able to like carve her own path away from the relationship like people knew who she was for her and don't don't come here saying no but me i knew her because of her boyfriend oh and she lost her no no that is not true that is not true you, you can't even say that she was very relevant even on her own like even now she's still making moves she's still you know doing what she does i'm just saying she doesn't really have like that big of an audience the way she did a few years back another person who i can say is a past it girl is niemba tembo like yes she's still making videos she's still you know doing stuff but she doesn't necessarily have like the pool that she once had like she's not necessarily in like every conversation that people are having and being an it girl doesn't have to be like like i said at the beginning of the video you don't have to have like a large audience to be like super famous and all that you can be an it girl and make moves in silence you know just like walk past people in the room and they're like oh my goodness who is that who is she i want to be her friend you can be that kind of it girl but for the purpose of this video we are focusing on mainstream it girls now i personally wasn't a fan of niemba when she was in her prime like even right now like i rarely see her pop up on my for you page but i will give credit where credit is due miss girly she she made her mark she made her mark Now, when we talk about current it girls, I would say, obviously, someone who I've seen multiple times be called 
the queen of Zambia on YouTube, Lombe Posa. There was a time when she went quiet, like she wasn't posting videos anywhere, stopped doing TikTok and whatever, but she still came back and still managed to regain relevance with that, like the Rema interview and stuff like that. She has solidified her place as an it girl. Even if we don't see her at like red carpet events, I'm sure she gets invited and she just chooses not to go. That's her own personal business, none of our business. But she does have it. Like I discovered her through TikTok. I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. I like 2020 when we were all at home bored. So yes, I was scrolling, bored, and then I saw like one of her videos. I think I can I don't even I don't even think she still has that video up. But I saw one of her videos that made me stop and I was like, oh okay, she doesn't have been TikToker back when we didn't have many of those at the beginning of TikTok. I was like, oh okay, cool. And then I found out she had a YouTube channel like that time when she was booming with those videos of like, oh things girls do that guys don't like things guys do that girls don't like that's when i knew knew who she was and even now like i said she's not seen at red carpet events and stuff like that like she sits at home and minds her business but she still manages to remain relevant that is what it takes to have it like because of those videos she set trends like everybody was talking about those videos everybody was adding their own two cents to those videos being like oh also this and also that and also that another great example of an it girl for the chronically online people is ruth roni even if you don't know her name you know who she is you know who she is chances are in the past few months if you've been scrolling on tiktok on hey, instagram or whatever the you've heard so I I can't say like I'm an OG fan or no, I've known her since this and this and this. Like all of a sudden I started seeing her everywhere. And in true it girl fashion, she set a trend. Because now I hear almost every like person start their daily vlog with come spend the day with me. And it's catchy, it's cute. But she definitely does qualify to be an it girl. She set a trend, she's pretty, she's confident, she's getting invited to all these places. Like, imagine getting invited to Lusaka July just for making TikTok videos. Like, she is that girl. I don't know how she played her cards, but she did it. In fact, I know how. She's got it. Even when I saw her on my For You page, I would always stop scrolling and like watch her vlogs or whatever it was that she was doing. She's got it. Moving on to the whole point of this video, the question that started this, who is the next Zambian it girl? Now, there can be many answers to this question, like everybody has their own opinions, but me personally, these are people who I think are going to be the next it girl. Like these are people who I've seen like, who do have all the qualities we talked about. At the beginning of the video they are all incredibly beautiful they are charismatic they just have it according to me i would say first uh maybe susie thomas if you don't know who she is by name that's fine i found her on instagram i don't know how i don't know what i was looking for but i found her on instagram and she's so cool in the sense that well, now she's a sky girl, but before that, she was like into women's rights, activism and stuff like that. So if she, at a young age, is able to like stand up for what she believes in and work towards that, that is a girl behavior right there. Like this is what her billboard looks like right now. I'm sorry, she is a neat girl. And don't ask me why I stalk a 15 year old instagram that is my business and my business alone even if she won't be known by her activism stuff she has a freaking billboard like people will look at her at one point or another and be like oh who is she another one i think like i think she's 
well on her way to becoming an egg girl is marine love like if, if you watch my particular review you'll be able to see that i was already obsessed with her character and now i'm obsessed with her as a human being because she has it like she's so pretty she's so well spoken she's talented she's she's going places and she's like working with brands like she did like a black friday thing with mac she was invited to the black panther premiere like if she's not already an it girl she's going to be there in like a few months or a few years or whatever and last but not least this one a lot of my friends and i agreed on grisha skaoma like i'm sure you've seen her on tiktok or something like she's super popular there on instagram she has lots of followers she has it she's already been invited to red carpet premieres again she's mainstream like give her a few years or even a few months or whatever everybody is going to know who she is she's funny she's confident she's super pretty obviously the only thing that these three need to do apart from suzy because suzy is an activist so obviously she doesn't need to be like a trendsetter but these other two marie and gracious like i can see them setting trends I can see them like making a popular phrase or a popular term that people will be using everywhere or like like trust me on this one i have predicted it here and now if they become like super mainstream i will be so proud i'll be like i predicted that in the year of our lord 2022 like maybe i'm a future it girl who knows like oh my god <laughs> hashtag manifesting manifest for me in the comments maybe not like in the near near future but in the future 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 you'll be seeing my name you'll be seeing my face on those billboards also i'm manifesting it anyway if you enjoyed today's video if you would like me to look at more pop culture topics whatever it may be whether it's the it boys boys are not very interesting but we'll see what we can do or anything like that please be sure to comment down below if there's anyone that you think i left out anybody who you see like in the near future becoming an it girl comment that down below if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like the video and share the video with all your friends um yeah that would be it for today's video i will see you guys again next week i think i'm going to be reviewing something else next week i'm not sure what it is but i'll be reviewing something else also like my flu is done so i have all my energy back Hopefully, the next week I'll have the same energy because otherwise. Um, and yeah, uh, I guess that's it for today. Bye.